Hi, welcome back. Right, let's make some really, really great ball gowns for the Lego Friends girls because, I mean, let's face it, Lego's not gonna do this. I mean, this is the best that I could do. Cobbled together from pieces that we have from, yeah, if, that are available for mini dolls. But, and we could do this and just say, ta-da, prom dress is done. This is so nice, but it's not. I just, oh, we could do so much better. So let's do that today. Let's start with Emma. Get her a prom dress. It's something that Lego has not put together, but it's going to be like a compilation. So for Emma, we're going to use her, oh, her purple color scheme. This skirt was one of Rapunzel's, I think, a Rapunzel skirt, but a modified a top. This one was one of uh, Ira's, Nida's tops, one of the elves tops and I've given her, I've dipped her hands in white paint to give her a little white gloves and painted her top. The colour doesn't quite match with the bottom skirt but neither does Legos always so I'm just going to call it good. And for hairstyles, this is where it's really super fun. So now she's got this gorgeous gown. We could go with but I mean, she can still wear the cat ears because I reckon that she would do something quirky and fun like that. Have cat ears to go with a gorgeous formal gown. But let's try some different hairstyle options on Emma because this is going to be like out of their comfort zone. Let's see what really awesome hair we can have. So this one's Bellatrix's, Bellatrix. Why can I not pronounce anything today? Bellatrix's hair from the Harry Potter set, which is pretty awesome, but... Not gonna go with that for Emma. Maybe really straight hair with the fringe across the front. I think that's really cute for Emma too, but I don't think it goes really well with this particular gown. Oh, I've left some schmutz on her hair. Where did that come from? Did I pick paint up? Nope. Nobody knows. Uh, this one here, her new hair piece from this year is so cute and I really, really like that, but we're not going with it. This hair piece too is Aurora's hair piece in black, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous for this because it's got more defined curls in it. But let's try Olivia's original hair, also in black, which is also quite curly, but no, see, I think I prefer the previous one to this one. <laughs> oh gosh, we got lots of choices. This updo, I love this so much, but the silver, the silver hairband doesn't go with it because her accessories are gold. You just don't want to mix and match your accessories. I love this smooth hair piece too for her. Gosh, <laughs> never going to end. I, I promise, even I'm getting bored with trying all these on. Let's go with this one. This is where I was heading. It's a gorgeous elegant look that will even go with the cat ears no not quite because they stick out weirdly on the side <laughs> so let's just let's not do the cat ears let's make this super elegant i want a bridgerton inspired headdress we're going to put feathers on she's just <laughs> going all out so little white feathers for the back and i have this gorgeous tiny focal pointy bluey purple one that we can put in on the front and look at that she's ready to make her presentation to the queen it's gorgeous. <laughs> I love this. Let's take a snap and she is done. See, this is so much better. So much better. All right, Emma is now properly ready for probably the red carpet, not so much a prom, but anyway. Okay, Olivia's turn. Mm, Olivia's colors are pink and that middle blue, and she really likes frills and pretty things, so I've gone with that idea for her dress. So for a skirt, this is actually backwards because I didn't want to destroy the printing on this, but I've actually glued on a, I don't even know what you call it, it's just a dress accessory, and it's a little rosette shape, and I have painted or I've just kind of dabbed paint onto the rosette to make it that mid-color pink that's right for her. And for a top, this is what I originally wanted to do before I actually painted the color. The little off the shoulder bit is actually a cut off bit of the bottom and the under bit is like her uh, swimsuit top. <laughs> I mean the swimsuit tops work really well because they're off the shoulders but I didn't end up actually liking this. I just thought it was too busy with all the flower down the bottom so we're heading back into swimsuit territory because this top has got her colors plus it's frilly and it looks like a little halter neck formal wear top so you know nice and tight on the top big blousy skirt on the bottom it's just so pretty <laughs> okay so for hairstyles i don't think her normal hair is going to cut it we're going to try for something a bit more elegant so i'm going to see what else we have got in her hair shade options so this hair piece you know i had to try it if she wanted to be a an edwardian style queen is that even the right period time period for that hairstyle not not quite right for her now this one's pretty this is just pretty half up at the back this one would do very, very nicely, I think. 
just trying to fluff this flower out a bit so it just ah, so pretty it's just so pretty I think it just suits her aesthetic so well <laughs> so well I was trying to say watch and mill but we could have this one we can't actually because it's darker but I reckon she would totally do like a 50s pinup girl type kind of vibe even her top looks like a 50s pinup top swimsuit but no it's the wrong color scheme we're just going to go with a simple smooth elegant hairdo the good old French roll I think it just means that her hair just looks really really elegant and smooth and it doesn't detract from all the fluffiness in her dress and she looks really pretty look at that there we go <laughs> Olivia is done snap I mean these are really turning out to be extravagant outfits <laughs> but this is how I like to roll we're not gonna have these little thrift shop dresses like they had in the actual webisode we're making it really super fancy for their send-off all right so for Mia I wanted a goth look for Mia but I but oh, so we'll stick with the black so a black skirt because I reckon she would totally do a goth look but I just I, I don't know I don't know yeah no I do know I know exactly where I'm going with this <laughs> so we're going to use this top that's got a nice gold overlay it's incredibly gorgeous and I have painted some really really high gloves onto her arms in glossy black give her her head and then we can mess about with some hair doesn't that look just gorgeous so elegant so hairstyles in this bright red they're kind of limited so we could do this hair piece uh, but it's the same as Emma's and I don't want to do that and I don't really think it works with her aesthetic either this funky little pixie cut I actually really really love this so much how cute does that look but I did get oh, <laughs> threw this one in here did get very excited by poison ivy's hairpiece I painted the green out of it so I think that looks nice but this is the mini doll version the mini figure version looks even better I mean go hard or go home I say this looks amazing and we could leave it exactly like this but I am going to add an overskirt kind of thing so I have these stiffened pieces of fabric that I'm well I'll, I'll show you how I made the stiffened pieces of fabric some other stage in a different video because I think that's a whole yeah that's a whole video but this one I've cut these out of fabric and I've painted them gold so that we can have kind of side skirt overlay bits which just is going to add to the glam of this outfit so much and then it picks up the gold that's in her top as well and drags it down into the bottom into the skirt how gorgeous does that look now that is just the most elegant outfit ever and I'm it's still black <laughs> but we're not quite goth we're not I don't think we went with the goth the, the goth aesthetic at all really she looks so gorgeous all right so this this original Mia th that we threw together we can throw her out <laughs> okay all right oh I'm so excited this is going really well <laughs> they look so nice okay Andrea's turn Andrea I mean she is a show queen as it is she she's gonna have to have something absolutely fantastical so I made her this skirt this is one of the big ball gowns from the Disney princess uh, sets I have painted it in turquoise and I have covered it in feathers and done some little gold dots at the bottom the feathers just make it look bigger than it already is plus they add motion and it's so pretty and because the bottom is so fluffy we need a nice tight little little crop top style top for her and that matches in with the gold and I think this just goes so well it's like it's like a it's kind of like a pop star performance outfit too so that works so so well for Andrea now we just need some hair that doesn't overwhelm this whole outfit anyway so and we, we also need to have the hair that is her current like that is her actual hair type so this one is this would look so nice but it's a dark like it's black sorry and her hair is dark brown uh I would love this in her hair color because I think that would have looked so cute with this outfit this one I don't even know why I tried because it's because it's bells in dark <laughs> dark brown no that's not gonna work uh this one which is the old Andrea hair that's actually really really cute and it doesn't look too busy with all of that skirt that's going on but we're gonna keep trying some more just to see this one is her mum's style hair which is just bigger like big yeah no I do think that looks all right though but no so we could try straightening it and having long hair with the with the middle part the bum part <laughs> affectionately call it uh, which looks 
Oh, and it actually looks really, really nice, but I think it's just a bit too much to <laughs> me saying something is too much. How about this head, this headdress, which is actually hers, her hairpiece. Now she looks like she's going to sing Copacabana. So maybe not for our formal wear, but that same idea, the updo in her color, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. It's once again, it's elegant. It doesn't detract from her enormous skirt. And now she looks absolutely gorgeous, ready for prom. Ah, I just love the feathers. <laughs> I've used feathers in two of these now. I just realized oh, you can never have enough feathers. It's like glitter. You just can't have too much. All right, Stephanie's turn. Stephanie, her colors are blue, right? So we could have used this enormous ball gown that came out this year in the princess sets, but they just it's too high like why did lego do oh, actually i know why they did it so they could fit the torso into it with the head on but we can't actually put them beside the other mini dolls because they are significantly taller like not even just tall girl tall like really really tall so stephanie's not that tall and i did say i was going to try for a pantsuit look like a formal pantsuit look so let's give that a whirl by the way the pop stars the lego friends pop star theme gave us so many good tops so this one's from the pop star theme let's see whether we can Clean the schmutz off Stephanie's face. Let's see if this outfit looks any good once we add some hair. Because at the moment, I'm not really convinced. This hair is... I, I've always complained about Stephanie's hairpiece. This is a hairpiece which I think would work really well for her. It's like a blowout style of her actual hair with, with added curls. Let's try a different torso piece. This one's also a pop star torso piece which looks whoa she looks really kind of naked around her shoulders like this but okay thoughts thoughts no I know exactly what we're doing now we're going to not go with the pantsuit because I know that it doesn't look quite right but I have got a blue skirt here that I've added glitter to funny how we mentioned glitter before the <laughs> glitter's starting to fall off and maybe if we have as like a scarfy kind of thing flowing off the side of her shoulders that will make her look a little bit less bare up around the shoulder line because for some reason this one just looks a bit yeah a bit too bare so this now I was tr trying to use the glitter on her skirt to tie in with the glitter in the scarf and the two colors don't match at all somehow I think I needed more holographic -y style glitter but this will do for now I can always change the glitter over later it's really easy to do let's try a different hairstyle this one is such a beautiful hairstyle I think that this one would look really really nice as a glam a glam look, a glamour look. There are other options. Let's see what else we have got. Oh, how about this high ponytail? I think that this, yeah, this looks so nice with the fringe, the long fringe and the really long ponytail to go with her really long scarfy side flowy things. That looks really pretty. That's nice. That's once again, very elegant. Let's get rid of the old, <laughs> the old Stephanie. Okay, we've done it. Some prom dresses for the girls, much better than the non-existent ones that they had before and the ones that I put together at the beginning of this video. All they need is some dates and all we have is River. Like he's the only one in the Lego Friends line that actually has a formal outfit. But you know what? They don't need dates. Why should they need that? They can just go together as a group. They'll have so much more fun than worrying about boys. So let's just put them all together and then they can head off to the prom in the new prom attire, which is nothing like it is in the webisode. But this is my interpretation of what I think that they should, <laughs> they should get. Yeah, come on Lego, let's do some really, really outrageous outfits for the Lego mini dolls. Please, let's do it. Okay, let me know in the comments which outfit is your favorite, <laughs> which one maybe was your least favorite, and yeah, subscribe, because there will be more videos coming up soon with lots of new interesting stuff happening. So I'll see you then. Bye.